balancing the interest of athletes and teams with those of fans and sponsors is an evolving subject. What we have seen over the last few years is more fan involvement and more sponsorship involvement. There is usually tension between that because a football club or any club that has sponsors has obligations. They will have signed sponsorship agreements and they can't disobey what's in that contract. But it might not necessarily suit the team, but it's just ensuring that there is a balance. As far as fans are concerned, they've probably been at the low end of the food chain in terms of importance. But as we've seen recently with the Tracy Crouch kind of recommendation, the white paper, there is a recommendation for more fan involvement. There have been some sad cases that you think of football and more recently in rugby union where clubs have collapsed and gone into some form of insolvency. And on the back of that, sometimes out of the debris and damage, one gets fans almost resurrecting their clubs. You can think of something like Barry Football Club. It's one of the oldest football clubs. The easiest thing would for that club to have just died, but the fans made sure it wasn't going to die. They thought, no, we're going to create a team, even if it's in the eighth tier of British football, that they'll find a way of saving their club because they're the fans. And one could say it really belongs to them. The directors and the owners are are probably just merely custodians, although, of course, it's become more complex than that. I think you'll see more fan involvement, perhaps on the board of directors, of organisations. I I was involved, I remember, with Oldham Athletic, which had gone into administration. I I participated in really rescuing the club out of admin. And uh, the the fans had representation on the board. And it was, they'd actually raised substantial funds. The new owners at the time welcomed the input of funds, which were highly critical. And those were funds raised by the fans. And in recognition of that, they've always had a seat at the board. And quite rightly, because usually the fans are not really interested in the money side of it. They All they want is they want their club to be protected as best they can. It's always an interesting balance. And I think we'll see more fan involvement these days and certainly want their, they want their, their pound of flesh. You know, they're, they're, some of them are spending obscene amounts of money and they want maximum exposure and the best exposure.